Okay, so to get started, I glued down all the lifted areas and weighed them for about 30 minutes. After that, I went in with a putty called Bondo and applied it to all the roughened areas to rebuild the corners and let that dry for about 15 minutes. Once the Bondo was dry, I went ahead and started in with my orbital sander. You just want to use it on low speed and sand the Bondo down as best you can to make it the shape that it was before it got damaged. I'm just trying to rebuild the corner here, so I'm going around on all sides and sh reshaping it. Here's what your sanded area should look like once you've smoothed down the Bondo. The next step in the process was priming down the piece. This is an older piece of wood and I didn't want any bleed through from old sealant or oils in the wood. So I'm priming it with my favorite primer which is Kills. Sandable primer, it's in a spray form can and it's brushable. Once I had sanded down the Kills, I went ahead with my base coat which was black wrought iron from the Maison Blanche Paint Company. Um, you'll notice when I'm spraying around, I'm not trying to cover every single bit of the piece. I'm actually leaving the middles a lighter shade and that's going to help me in the final look for my piece. I want highlighted areas in the middle, so that's why I painted it this way. And now for the tricky part, the sponge distressing. You have to have everything exactly right for this part. I've already messed it up once here and had to repaint the entire piece. You've got to have the sponge just damp enough and the paint on the body of the piece has to not be fully dried, but almost dry. And you want to do this with all three colors. I did this with both of the grays on top, scrubbing them down to um, reveal the color beneath. So this is the lightest color. I've already done it with the middle gray beneath this one. Now here's where the magic happens, applying the silver leaf. I'm using a spray adhesive here. And this is why this part can be difficult. If you apply adhesive where you don't want silver leaf, it's still more than likely going to wind up there. So you have to really take your time and be cautious about where you stick the silver leaf once the adhesive has gotten tacky and where you let the adhesive land. So this is the slow, tedious part of the process that you have to really take your time and focus on. As you're applying the silver leaf, you want to stipple it around with your brush and then go back and smooth it over. You want to jab your brush into it, spread it around where you'd like to see it go, and then you're going to brush back across it to smooth things down, and then step back and have a look at what you've done to see where you want to go next. Once I finished applying the silver leaf, I used my black wax to seal the piece, and here's the final look, you guys. This is a really pretty technique. It's something fancy to break out if you have a client wanting something really special or you wanting to make something special for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching and have a great day.